Welcome back to the TransQX7 series of videos. As always, look in the description for a link to it. Now we are almost ready to start uh, creating a model and setting everything up to actually fly with this thing. But there's one more thing I want to do, and that is a custom startup screen, also known as the splash screen. So if we power it on, Welcome to OpenTX. we see that OpenTX logo, but instead we're going to make something to replace that. Now there are actually applications that you can use to uh, do this, but I don't find them to be any faster or better than using Microsoft Paint. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. Now there's a host of things that you have to do for this to work. The first thing is going to be go to resize, and this applies no matter what application or program you are using, it, this is going to be the same but change the size, go to pixels instead of percentage and I've already got mine set up from the last time I've done this but for the horizontal it has to be 212 and the vertical needs to be 64. Now if you try to type 212 in horizontal it's going to make the vertical 212 as well unless you change or turn off maintain aspect ratio and then it's going to allow you to do a different number in both boxes. Then click OK now the downside to this, uh, like I said, that is, that's the biggest image size that we can use. But it's going to be extremely pixelated, so do not expect a high quality image. Next I'm going to go to view and zoom in a couple times, just make this box bigger. And then go back to home. You can't have a white background, but I'm going to do a black background instead with white text. So just click this little bucket to make the whole background either black or white. And by the way, it has to be black and white. There is no colors. You can put colors in this, but whenever you actually upload it to the Tyrannus, it's going to look like crap. Now, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do text and keep it simple, but if you want, you can actually import an image. But like I said before, you don't want anything that has too much too much stuff going on because it's going to look extremely pixelated and you might not even recognize what you're looking at but if you want you can you know go to file and open and open up whatever picture you want so let's make this box bigger actually let's just do this let's make my text white We'll put this right where I want it. And now you can see the pixelation that I was talking about. The next thing I'm going to do is because there is some blue uh, in between the white and black, uh, that's actually normal, but I'm going to go to File and then Properties and set it to black and white. And click OK. Now you may think it looks worse now, but uploading this would actually look better than what it previously looked like with the black in between the white and blue because the trance is going to convert it to black and white. So just trust me, I mean you can try it, but just play around with it. You might have to end up making this thing like 10 times like I've done. Now I'm just going to touch this up a little bit before I uh, save this. So I'm going to do the pencil. And if you did use an image, you know, this works as well. You can touch the image up. So just give me a second to do this. Okay, I'm done touching it up. I think it looks pretty good. So at this point, once you're done, click File, Highlight Save As, don't click it, then go over to BMP Picture. You have to save this as a bitmap file. Then click this drop down box. I'm going to do Monochrome Bitmap. In my OpenText folder that I created, I've already made an images folder. So I'm going to click in there and give it a name. So I'm just going to name this 3As, and there's a reason for that. Just because it's in alphabetical order, it's going to put it at the top of the list, so it's going to be a little bit faster to find. Uh, but you can name it whatever you want. The only thing is, 
it has to be I believe it's eight characters or less but I would do seven characters just to be sure I can't remember uh, but it's one of the two it has to be seven or eight characters long if it's any longer than that then it's not going to work just like if you don't save it as a bitmap file it's also not going to work and if you didn't set the ratio to 212 and 64 it's also not going to work so I'm going to save that click OK now let's get it into the Trennis and it's not as easy as just you know placing that file into the SD card so like we've done many times before hold both of these in power it on plug in the USB cable and for this we need to go into the OpenTX companion that we downloaded and, and talked about in a, a few videos back so let's click uh, read models and settings from radio then click on the settings cog if you have not already set up your SD structure path which is something that I forgot to mention in the SD card installation video we want to click on select folder and choose the directory that the SD card is in and um, for me I know that my Tyrannus is on F but my SD card is on E and you may have a different drive or directory but for me it's E and I know it's E because when I click E all these folders come up that's on my SD card so I will select folder now for a splash screen select image and find where you saved it and here it is so I'm going to click that then click OK now normally whenever you make any setting changes to your models or anything like that like you could do here then you would do uh, write models and settings to radio but for the splash screen you have to upload firmware and if you haven't downloaded firmware yet then you can watch my video on how to update the firmware but if not you can just click up here and then download firmware and that's going to give you the newest version of firmware so now we want to write firmware to radio everything looks good and make sure you use use profile start screen and you have your image selected here because if you have any of these other ones selected that's just going to give you the default open TX so let's write to TX flashing is done we can close that close this out disconnect the USB cable now once we go down to exit we should see our custom image Welcome to OpenTX. And we're golden. So that does it for this video, guys. And I think we can now actually get into creating a model and setting everything up. So look in the description for the link to the playlist, and I will see you there.